Hello all my Canvians, Papa Ken here, just bringing you a update video and I guess a bit of a vlog, but more than anything, just announcing to you some of the upcoming videos and series that you can expect at very soon on the channel. And, uh, can you hear that? Can you hear that light humming? That oh-so-peaceful humming? Almost computer-like? Yes, that's my, that's my new computer. It's so beautiful. And it's, it's so powerful. Oh my goodness, that, that was kind of creepy, I apologize. But yes, um, because of this thing, I'm going to be able to have a lot more um, output coming from this computer because um, processing videos on the old computer could take quite a while. Like a 15 to 20 minute video could take hours to process. And admittedly, it was a fairly old computer that was technically outdated when I bought it. But this thing is much faster, and I can, uh, if I have several videos that I'm working on at a time, I can get all of them processed in one day. So I'm very happy about that. So again, you know, you can expect more output from me as, you know, my time allows, since this isn't my full-time job. But also, to give you an idea of what Discovering series are going to be coming out very soon on the channel. Um, now, of course, there's still the Discovering Doctor Who, which, I, I mean, technically it's caught up at this point, but I still want to do a season, or I'm sorry, Series 9 recap. And my idea for that is actually, those of you that watch, uh, have watched Discovering Doctor Who, those of you that um, have followed along with me, and those of you that are just caught up with Doctor Who in general, I would like to know your favorite and least favorite um, moments from uh, season, I keep wanting to say season, I'm sorry, from series nine. And uh, try to limit it to just one of each because I'm going to, I don't, uh, depending on how many I get, I might compile them, give like sort of a top five responses from the fans. But yeah, in the comments down below, let me know um, your top favorite moment from series nine and your bottom f least favorite, or your top least favorite, however you want to put it, but your least favorite moment from Series 9 as well. And while we're at it, you know, might as if uh, you have one in mind in particular, let me know your favorite and least favorite episode. So, yeah, just a little bit of information there. Uh, but most of all, just let me know your moments, but if you want to include the episodes as well, have at it. Now, other than Doctor Who, one thing that I have said before is that Doctor Who, at least for the foreseeable future, it's something that I'm going to keep consistent here on the channel. Not, not recently, obviously, just because of other things I've been working on, but moving forward, um, I'd like to have something Doctor Who related happening at least once a week here on the channel. So, once uh, the Series 9 recap occurs, and I get, you know, uh, show, uh, present all the information received from you all in the comments. Um, the next Discovering series in the Who universe that you can expect is going to be Torchwood. Yes, I'll be starting with Season 1 of Torchwood, and in addition, um, after the first season of Torchwood, I will be going into the classic series of Doctor Who. Um, I don't, now, that's going to be a little bit more difficult just because of there aren't many established uh, seasons or, uh, it, it, basically, I don't want to go through all of the classics uh, at one time because that could take a long time and some people might not be as interested in it, so I'll probably try and cover the first Doctor's episodes, or at least the uh, DVD that was sent to me through Amazon by some absolutely amazing Kenvians out there. Um, I won't name their names here just uh, out of respect of their privacy, unless they wish to be named, at which point I will put them in a caption down here, <laughs> or as an annotation. But thank you so very much for providing that. It, like, at the very least, that will be what I'll cover in uh, the beginning of discovering classic Doctor Who. But then also you can expect the rest of Torchwood, um, the rest of Classic Who uh, at some point down the line, uh, the Sarah Jane Adventures, even though I know that's technically just for kids or whatever, but I know some people that 
are at least remotely interested in it, and you know, people might like it. We'll see. But yeah, so, uh, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, Doctor Who will kind of always be a part of this channel, especially considering it's what... One, probably the biggest thing that has brought the Papakin Media channel to become relevant among over 1,600 of you at this point. So, yeah, that's one thing you can expect. In addition, uh, you can expect Discovering the Walking Dead to be coming very soon. And just so you know, at least for... I think what I'm going to do is the first five seasons of the show, because it's currently airing the sixth season... Um, the first five seasons are going to be touched on in summary form. Uh, the first season, just one episode, because it's only six, e yeah, six episodes long. And then after that, I might uh, cut the seasons in half, so it's like a summary of the first half, summary of the second half, um, with particular attention given to, you know, some of the most important moments in each season. And uh, so, yeah, that, 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 uh, Discovering the Walking Dead. And also... I have not started watching it yet, but Discovering Game of Thrones is coming soon. Uh, the one problem with that is because of um, the amount of torture apparently present in that show, it's not something that my wife can watch with me, and a lot of times with these shows we'll watch them together. So it's something that I'm going to have to watch on my own, most likely uh, here at my computer or whenever I'm, I have a chance and, you know, Jill is doing something else uh, while I watch some TV. So that that is coming very soon. It's just not ready just yet. And then, in addition, one other series that I am going to be uh, touching on very soon is Once Upon a Time. Now, that's a, a show that... Perhaps not many people are huge fans of, but there are a few people that I, I've become close friends with, uh, you know, from the Kenvians, that really do like that show and want me to at least give it a try. And, uh, you know, if... Uh, but just based on the things I've heard from people that are fans of it, I think that it's a show that, uh, you know, I might come to enjoy myself, so I'm looking forward to that. If it's not your particular cup of tea, hopefully the other shows I'll be covering will uh, spark your interest, but we'll see as we go down the line. And of course, there are many other shows yet to come. There's so many things I need to get caught up on that I'm planning to, especially now that I have the very nice system that I do now, I'll be able to do so many more things at once, and hopefully that will mean more output, more content for you all to watch. And in addition, uh, I know not, uh, the, the majority of you don't watch the uh, gameplay videos that I put out, but those are also going to become uh, a, a stronger part of the channel as things go along. Uh, hopefully even to a point where I'll be able to release uh, two videos in a day at times. Uh, like, you know, there might be a discovering episode that comes out and then a let's play video, things of that nature. Um, I'm going to provide inf uh, various information about that down below in the comment, uh, not in the comments, but in the description, just so you can get uh, you know a little bit more info on that. And also, uh, in addition to what I mentioned before about uh, Doctor Who, if there are any games you would like to see me play, uh, definitely let me know. Now, keep in mind that I have restrictions such as, uh, such as I don't yet own a PlayStation 4, I don't own a Xbox One, I'm not even sure I'm going to own one. But when it comes to PC games, uh, within reason, as long as it's compatible with Windows 10, I don't see why I should, shouldn't be able to play certain games. Uh, I'm going to start doing reviews very soon. I have a list of different games that I'm going to be doing. Uh, but yeah, in general, just uh, especially when it comes to retro games, let me know if there are any series you would like to see me play. Most recently, I released a uh, sort of a test video for my new capture card that uh, where I played Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U. And for those of you that don't know, I am one, a huge fan of the Legend of Zelda series, but also Hyrule Warriors is probably one of my absolute favorite games that I've played on the Wii U. So if you're interested in that at all, uh, yeah, I'll put an annotation right here so you can go check it out. Um, now, the, the volume is admittedly a little bit low, so I apologize for that, but I'm working out all the kinks as I go along. It's a it's very much a work in progress. But, uh, yeah, is there anything else that I want to touch on? Um, uh, you can expect 
at the website popakinmedia.com. Uh, there, the uh, contributors are going to be joining me on there very soon. Uh, we're working out different shows or uh, different shows or different kinds of articles that they can touch on. It's going to be it's been a slow process, unfortunately, but it is going to be growing now that some of the uh, initial steps have thankfully been taken. And yeah, I'm just I'm very positive about the future right now with Papa Can Media. I I couldn't be happier and to those of you that are contributing on the patreon thank you so very much i mean at this point um after the fees and everything are taken out i'm cur currently receiving 55 dollars a month from you amazing patrons on patreon and i just again i can't thank you all enough and j just any of you that uh, uh any of you that are able to contribute I can't thank you enough. If you aren't able to or don't want to contribute, you know, monetarily in that way, that's no that's no problem at all. I completely appreciate the fact that you've subscribed and want to watch my videos at all. That's just that's all of that just means the world to me. And uh, again, I just can't thank you all enough. No matter how you contribute to Papa Ken Media, again, whether it's just watching the videos, possibly monetarily. However you want to do it, I just, it, it, <laughs> it really just touches my heart that there are people that care about the material that I put out, and I'm going to continue to do the best I can to bring you all the best material I can, and just hopefully keep improving as time goes on. Now before I close up, there are a few people I want to acknowledge. First of all, my friend Joel who is the amazing guy that helped me, well, <laughs> I would say helped me put this computer together, but he, uh, I would say he did most of the work. I tried to help when I could and did my best not to get in the way, but it's because of him that this beast is up and running, and so I can't thank you enough, buddy. And I'll actually provide a link to his channel um, here in the annotation and also down in the description, because he does um, live streams, uh, I, I can't remember if it's every weekend or maybe most weekends when he can, but he's been on a journey of uh, learning to cook healthier, and he's actually on a, a, a weight loss program right now, and cooking his own meals is one way in which he's contributing to that, and so he's sharing like different recipes and some healthy but delicious meals that you can make yourself. So if you're interested in that at all, definitely go check out his channel. Again, annotation here and a uh, link in the description down below. Go check him out and tell him that uh, Papa Ken says hi. <laughs> or that you came from Papa Ken Media. Um, who else was I wanting to acknowledge? Uh, well, a couple of uh, my really good friends, you might know them from the Cult of Awesome that I used to host my uh, gaming videos on uh, Sko and uh, Fluffy or Unfluffy Gaming, as he's better known. Uh, they've just both been very supportive, and hopefully, there's going to be more gaming material coming from all of us in the near future. But uh, in particular, I want to say thank you to you guys for being very supportive and just you know uh, being amazing in general. And in particular, um, Unfluffy Gaming is working on a video for this channel that I think some of you might find pretty interesting and pretty funny. I won't reveal what it is just yet, but let's just say that it has to do with Undertale, particularly my Let's Play of Undertale. So, you know, that's uh, something to hopefully be excited about. But, yep, um, I think I rambled on a little bit too long in this video. I do apologize for that, everyone. But uh, I hope you're looking forward to what's coming up. Again, if you uh, leave your favorite and least favorite moments from Series 9 of Doctor Who in the uh, comments down below. And, um, and let me know whether or not you want me to use your name or just refer to you as, um, you know, and this user... Or something along those lines, uh, because you know I want to. Uh, although you know comments are public, I want to respect your privacy as much as I can. 
so, all right, enough rambling, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Again, if you want to go check out uh, my Hyrule Warriors video, the annotation is right there. If you want to check out any other of the gameplay videos that I have made, you can click here and go check out the master playlist, which is honestly a mess, but <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> But all right, everyone, again, just from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. Uh, I love you, Kenvians. You are all absolutely amazing. And I will see you next time on the next Discovering Doctor Who slash Papakin Plays slash whatever. Until next time, everyone, Alon Z. I need to come up with a new ending phrase.